to earth here. Uh, finishing up with Robert Wannick. Robert, clearly Sunday or Monday at the Sunday show, 4 to 6 p.m. I'm going to want you back on because I've been working with you for two, three years. You've won some awards from us with your videos and your activism. You've always proven to be very accurate in what you say has happened. So I believe what you're telling me. So he ends up taking it away from you. What happens next? Finish up what happened because you're trying to warn people about what's really in the vaccine. So what happened next was I, he told me to wait in the hallway for the principal. So I, I did. And there was about 20 to 30 students now gathered waiting in the hallway, just yelling some of them swearing at the teacher for putting his hands on me. And when the principal came down, he asked another teacher who was there. The teacher said, no, he didn't assault him. As a matter of fact, he didn't put his hands on the student. This caused just uh, an outrage. So a total culture of deception, just like cops lie for each other. The teachers do this. And the students just started yelling, you're a liar. I saw you assault Robert. You need to get affidavits signed. Take him to court. I've, got, I've already got some affidavits signed from over 15 witnesses. And Good. Get the now we've got witnesses. them on lying. We'll get that other teacher fired for lying. We don't need liars like that. And the, the other thing is, now we've been trying to... I got called in the office at 310 and told that I was receiving a two-day out-of-school suspension for insubordination and disruption. All because you politely tried to hand out medical information to students that it's not a forced inoculation. They in, yes, and they instigated violence against me. They caused the disruption, and I'm getting charged with disruption and getting suspended outside of school. A three-day suspension is what is merited by... Well, Robert, fighting. let's go back. Robert, let's go back right. briefly to three years ago. We ought to write an article about this. Uh, in uh, Maryland, and I had the state attorney on, and he admitted, yeah, there's no law, you got to take it, but they told 2,000 parents and kids this. They lined up with SWAT teams and police dogs and wouldn't let the activists tell them it wasn't the law, and then on CNN, mainly black people, crying, saying, I don't want to take it, I get sick when I take it, but it's the law. You're not even allowed to tell them it's not the law. Go ahead. Absolutely right. When it's not even mandatory, when it's voluntary, you're not even allowed to to give them risks peacefully. And I was, I'm being harassed and threatened more, saying if I release any footage, I'll receive more suspension, and they'll possibly recommend expulsion. So, 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 I mean, to be clear, you have witnesses on video that's up on YouTube, uh, but, but they're saying if you release any more footage, they're saying outside of school, you're not allowed to stand up to them. No, any, any footage from inside the school. Like, if you watch the video, I have a few clips that are from inside the school that I have written consent to release. Those are allegedly going to merit me with with more. Well, more they're just trying to cover up what happened, and, and, and they better watch it because this is starting to turn into racketeering. So so where are you going from here, uh, Robert? I mean, I think the way to do it is now get with 100 of the, of the young men and women, and all of you hand out flyers per class. They won't be able to stop that. What you did was bold because it made them show that they're the tyrants. They went after you. Now it's the talk of the school. Now everyone will want the forbidden literature. Now you have the school in your hand as you rebel against the system. Now you are literally launching the Sons of Liberty program. What, what I'm doing now is pressing charges against the teacher who assaulted me because the school has not taken legal action and will not release any security footage. We have no clue if they even still have the footage on camera. You need to put a press release out. See, notice they're, they're lying. You have affidavits. And notice their cameras malfunction. We'll talk to you Sunday or Monday with a more detailed report on this, Robert. But this is big. But I suggest maybe back off for a while just so you can get back to school and have everyone hand out flyers. And everyone across the nation, you should be giving flyers to people in school. Instead of just worshiping big government and taking Ritalin and Prozac, Robert Wannick, we salute you.